Beneath the dust of millennia, buried deep in the bones of forgotten ancestors, a secret has waited, silent, ancient, and undisturbed. For centuries, historians debated the origins of one of the world's oldest civilizations, the Indian people. Did they emerge from the land itself, rooted like the sacred fig tree? Or did they arrive in great migrations, carrying the seeds of language, culture, and belief from distant, unseen lands? The answers were lost in time. Until now, in a hidden valley, nestled among ruins older than memory, a fragment of bone was found. At first glance, it was nothing, just a remnant of a life long past. But within its marrow lay something extraordinary, pristine, unbroken strands of ancient DNA. And what this DNA reveals changes everything we thought we knew about the genetic heritage of over a billion people. This is not just about history. It's about identity. A clash between what we believed and what science can now prove. Because for the first time ever, cutting-edge genetic research is exposing a narrative long buried beneath politics, myth, and time itself. Who were the true ancestors of the Indian people? And why has their story been hidden for so long? India, a land of over 1.4 billion souls, boasts a history stretching back more than 5,000 years. It is home to the Indus Valley Civilization one of humanity's earliest urban societies. But while its temples, texts, and traditions have survived the ages, the true genetic origins of its people have remained clouded in mystery. Ancient texts speak of gods descending from the skies, while colonial-era theories impose their own interpretations, suggesting waves of Aryan invaders reshaped the genetic landscape. Yet none of it was ever proven. The Indian subcontinent, with its dizzying diversity of languages, cultures, and castes, became a riddle locked within itself. Scientists and historians were left chasing shadows, uncertain whether today's populations descended from indigenous tribes, foreign settlers, or something far older. Then came the genomic age. As DNA mapping grew more sophisticated, Researchers began unlocking the ancient code hidden inside South Asia's diverse peoples. Early studies hinted at multiple ancestral groups, interwoven across thousands of years. But no one could agree on where they came from, or when. One theory pointed north, toward the Central Asian steppes. Another looked south, to the ancient hunter-gatherers of the subcontinent. The debate intensified until a breakthrough sample emerged, older than any found before, perfectly preserved, and untouched by modern contamination. Was this the missing piece that could finally solve the puzzle? It began in a place few had expected, the dry, wind-swept plains of Rakagarhi, a remote archaeological site in northern India, long known as one of the largest and oldest cities of the Indus Valley civilization. Rakagari had yielded pottery, tools, and skeletal remains for decades. But in 2018, something extraordinary surfaced, a nearly intact female skeleton, buried beneath layers of civilization lost to time. Her bones were delicate, yet remarkably preserved. Scientists from India and South Korea, working side by side, realized they had found more than a body. They had uncovered a gateway into genetic prehistory. What made this discovery different was not the grave goods or the burial style. It was the quality of the DNA. In a land where heat and humidity usually erase all traces of ancient genomes, this skeleton defied the odds. Within her teeth, specifically inside the pulp cavity of a molar, researchers extracted a fragment of uncontaminated genetic material dated to nearly 4,600 years ago. It was the oldest known DNA ever recovered from the Indian subcontinent. Suddenly, everything changed. This was no longer theoretical. This was evidence, clear, measurable, and testable. 
a voice from deep time, waiting to be decoded. The question now, what would it say? The team knew they were holding something priceless, but also fragile. Ancient DNA is notoriously difficult to work with, especially in tropical climates where heat, moisture, and bacteria rapidly degrade genetic material. To avoid any contamination, the skeleton was transported under strict biosecure conditions to advanced laboratories in Hyderabad and Seoul. There, under sterile lights and robotic arms, scientists began the meticulous process of sequencing the genome. Months passed. Each strand of DNA had to be verified, cross-checked, and compared against thousands of modern and ancient samples from across Asia and beyond. Data poured in. Terabytes of genetic code that had to be deciphered like an ancient manuscript. Meanwhile, political tensions brewed in the background. The idea of tracing Indian ancestry to foreign origins was controversial. Even incendiary. Scholars warned the findings could reshape long-held beliefs about migration, caste, and cultural identity. But the scientists pressed on. Using next-generation sequencing and comparative genomics, they began to map the woman's genetic ancestry. What they found was unexpected and deeply revealing. Her DNA didn't match the so-called Aryan steppe populations, nor did it align fully with the indigenous hunter-gatherers of southern India. Instead, it hinted at a more complex, older tapestry, one that rewrote the migration story entirely something ancient and hidden, was emerging from the data. When the final sequences were aligned and the last anomalies resolved, the truth came into focus, like an ancient fresco restored. The DNA from Rakagari revealed a genetic profile never before isolated in South Asia, one that predated the Indo-Aryan migrations by over a thousand years. This woman, buried with care in a long-forgotten city, carried the genetic signature of a people now called the Ancient Indus Valley Population, or AIVP. Her lineage showed no detectable steppe ancestry, dismantling the long-held theory that Aryan invaders from Central Asia were the primary architects of early Indian civilization. But there was more. Her genome shared deep connections with a group of ancient Iranian agriculturalists, farmers who migrated eastward thousands of years ago, long before the dawn of the Indus Valley cities. This fusion of early Iranian ancestry with indigenous South Asian hunter-gatherers formed a unique population, one that gave rise to the earliest urban centers in India. The DNA also revealed traits of dark skin, lactose intolerance, and a gene pool distinct from later northern populations. It was a snapshot of a forgotten people who built without metal weapons, who traded without coins, and who thrived without conquest. This single genome shattered centuries of speculation. It proved, with scientific certainty, that the foundations of Indian identity were older, more local, and far more intricate than previously believed. Picture a vast, river-laced landscape, thousands of years before the rise of Rome or the pyramids. Along the banks of the Saraswati and the Indus, a quiet revolution was unfolding. Cities like Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro, and Rakigari were rising, not through war, but through ingenuity. Streets were paved with baked bricks. Drainage systems ran beneath homes. Granaries stored harvests from meticulously managed fields. And in the heart of it all lived a people whose genetic legacy had been hidden. Until now, these were the descendants of ancient Iranian farmers and native South Asian hunter-gatherers, fused into a new civilization. They didn't build empires through conquest. They built networks, complex systems of trade, language, and spiritual belief that stretched from Mesopotamia to the Ganges Plain. Their cities thrived for over 700 years, yet left no known temples, no kings, no monumental tombs. Instead, they left seals, symbols, and silence. 
And then they vanished. Environmental collapse, perhaps a shifting monsoon or a drying river, forced these ancient people to scatter. Some migrated east into the Ganges Basin, others southward into the Deccan Plateau. Over generations, they merged with new waves of migrants from the north, forming the diverse mosaic that is India today. But their DNA, hidden in the marrow of a single tooth, survived. And with it, the memory of a civilization that laid the first bricks of Indian identity. Long before myths, before texts, before the word India ever existed. The past does not whisper. It waits. And sometimes, all it takes is a single tooth, buried in silence for 4,600 years, to unlock a forgotten chapter of human history. What we thought we knew about the origins of the Indian people has been rewritten, not by legend or conquest, but by the quiet voice of DNA. This isn't just science, it's memory, etched in genes, preserved against all odds, and now, finally, decoded. The woman from Rakigari never knew she would become a key to the truth. She lived, loved, and died in a world untouched by modern borders or dogmas. And yet, her story now echoes across continents, challenging narratives built over centuries. She represents a people who did not conquer, but who created. A civilization that did not leave kings, but left a legacy still pulsing in the blood of millions today. As technology advances, who knows what other secrets lie waiting beneath our feet? What other ancestors are ready to speak again? If only we listen. If you found this discovery as powerful as we did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more science and history mysteries, and click the bell icon so you never miss a story buried in time. Because in the end, the truth always finds a way back.